Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to run our Jenkins build from the command line or terminal. We have created so many projects in our Jenkins, so we have to run those projects from command line as well, right? So for, I mean, setting up the uh, command line for Jenkins project, so we have to do some setup like uh, authorization in terms of authorization, right? So, I mean, anyone can run your build or, I mean, only the log user want to uh, execute the build, right? So that setup we can do in the uh, manage Jenkins uh, going to the configure uh, global security. Okay, so we'll go first this, I mean, we'll go ahead and we'll set the configuration now. So here is the Jenkins, make sure you have logged in. So go to uh, your manage Jenkins option. So here you will find the option called configure global security, right? So go to this page. So here you will find option for authorization, okay? So we will we will see one by one, author, I mean, one by one. So the first one we'll see, uh, check anyone can do anything, right? So when you when you selected this option, you can you can uh, do anything uh, without passing your uh, Jenkins credentials. Okay. So now, so here it is. So it, this is an option that we have selected authorization. Anyone can do anything, right? So the one more option is only log the user, right? So when you click on the log the user, so you I mean only you can uh, run this build from the command line. Okay. So now we'll go by uh, this option. Anyone could I mean anyone can do anything. So I'm just applying and saving it the uh, changes. Okay. So now uh, you can go to uh, manage, I mean, uh, Jenkins manage under manage Jenkins. You can go to this Jenkins CLI, right? So when you go to this Jenkins CLI, you know, here you can form the option for downloading the Jenkins CLI jar, right? So you have to download this jar. Okay. This is, a, I mean, it's a simple jar file. You have to download. And you have to keep it in your where the Jenkins is installed, right? So in my case, you can see my Jenkins is installed under the program files. So I am using Jenkins installer file. So if your case, I mean, you are using like a Jenkins watch file, then you have to find this folder. So it should be in your program files or I mean program files X, uh, I mean, either program files or I mean program files uh, X86, uh, which means like, a, I mean, based on your, uh, operating system uh, bit, right? So here you will find option for Jenkins, right? So here I have placed the Jenkins CLI jar file. So from here you can run your, I mean, you can execute your, uh, your projects. So for executing the comments, like uh, we have so many comments available in the Jenkins CLI. So for example, if you want to build the project, this is a command that we have to use. So similarly, you can you can check all the things that you want. Like so, who am I? It will give you your credentials, and like you can check the version of uh, your Jenkins, right? So what I will do now, I will come here, I will open my command prompt from here. Okay, so now what I will do, I have to check my I mean Jenkins credential. Okay, simply copy this and go to your credential. I mean a command prompt. So here I will paste. So on my case, my Jenkins is running on 8082. So I have to change this port number. So I'm just changing to 8082. So now when I put on enter, you can see my Jenkins version will be printed here. So I'm using 2.270. So that is my Jenkins version. You can see it here, 2.270, right? So this will help you uh, to, I mean, to know about your Jenkins version. Like, so if you want to know uh, some, some, some other things, right? So for example, I want to know what are the list of jobs I have. List of jobs means like what are the projects I have in my Jenkins, right? So I simply copy this line and I can go to the common prompt. So I have to change my port number because my Jenkins is running on 8082, right? So when I put on enter, you can see all the uh, projects I have in the Jenkins is coming, right? So these are the projects that I have in my Jenkins. So here you can see, so these are the things are coming in the console also, right? So yeah, all the projects that you have, it will be displayed as it. Okay, so this is one more. And there are so many comments we can go for it. Like, uh, so for example, this is a job, I mean, list of jobs that I have, right? So similarly, I can go for a, uh, okay, list of uh, plugins I have, right? So I I, I may install so many, so, I mean, so many plugins, right? So what are the plugins that I have installed here? So when you put on enter, Okay, sorry, I am. I have to change the port number because I'm running on 8082. Okay, so it will give what are the plugins that I have installed. So these many plugins I have installed to my Jenkins. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we'll run one build. Okay, so running our build is, this is a build option, right? 
so what i will do i will open one more window so this is a job i mean uh, comment that you have to build your i mean to run your project okay so i will paste it here okay so here we have to give the project name so for example here i have list of projects right so i will take this uh, github maven which we created already right so the my last build was like a 18 right so now uh, i will pass this uh, project name here so i will delete this job i have to pass my github i mean uh, my project name right so for my project name is github hyphen maven and i have to make sure this is running on 8082 right so i will change it this one so now you can see this will automatically execute so our last build was 8 i mean 18 so when i put on enter here now you can see okay this is started actually so now you can see the build number 19 will start yeah this is started now right so if you want to make sure okay this is started from the uh, common prompt or not you can go to the console so where you can see started from the command line by anonymous user right because we have selected option as uh, anyone can do anything right i mean check anyone can do anything so that's the reason it's coming as anonymous so when you go for your logged user now so you might see your log i mean your username right so my username is admin here right so it is executing it will execute and it will i mean the build will get succeed okay so we'll wait for the build to be uh, completed Okay, so the one more option is like a one day logged in user, right? So we'll go to uh, that one. So I will go to manage Jenkins option. So here I will go to the global security. So here, what I will do, I will make this uh, only logged in user that can do anything, right? So allow anonymous user to read access. So when we selected this one and when we go for a save and apply, so now you cannot execute like this. So what we have done, we have done like, uh, I mean, simply we have passed the URL. I mean, this is a URL. I mean, my, 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 where my Jenkins is running and we have given our build name, right? So if I do the same thing now, it will not execute. So since we have changed the settings in the authorization, so when I click on enter, it will not run. See, anonymous is missing the build job permission, right? So it is asking for the permission. So how do we pass the permission, right? So for that one, we have to pass our username password to the Jenkins. Okay, so how do we pass the username password is, okay? So, so far uh, we have, I mean, we have sent only the web socket and build maven i mean whatever the project name right so additionally we have to pass our authorization so in our case uh, my case right so the authorization is so you have to pass the authorization like this hyphen r so my username is admin right so this is my my uh, jenkins password okay my username is admin and this jenkins password is same like so when you used to log into the uh, jenkins right so what is the password that you use so the same password i'm using my default settings like admin with the i mean default password that given by the jenkins okay when i do this it will automatically run uh, we'll go to the project okay wait for uh, this 19 to be get completed yeah so 19 is get completed now you can see the build is success right so what i will do now again i will execute the build okay so here we are passing the authorization so hyphen auth you have to pass your username colon your password and build so what are the projects that you want you want to build you can pass this one okay so now i will put on enter now you can see the build will automatically start okay so our our last build was 19 so now while i execute this one you can see so the build number 20 will start yeah it started now right so when we go to the console now you can see this is started by the command line by the user of admin right so my username is admin here so now you can see started from the command line by the admin. So in our previous build, it was like an anonymous, right? Because we have given this option, anyone can do anything, right? And this is a command, I mean, this is a command that we have to use, I mean, uh, to run our build with the authorization setting, right? So you have to pass over the admin, admin is my username and this is my password, right? So this is how we run the build from, uh, I mean, uh, Jenkins job from the command line, okay? 
So now this bill will, it, I mean, execute and it will, I mean, uh, get succeed automatically. Okay, so now additionally, if you want to check like a something else, right? So it's always recommended go with the, uh, this uh, only logged in user option. So instead of doing check, anyone can do anything. So you can you can configure your authorization, then you can, uh, I mean, you can pass the authorization here to run the your, your Jenkins build, right? So now, okay, so there are, there are so many things like you can check. So when you go for a uh, install plugin, you can do it from here. List of jobs already we have seen, list of plugins, right? And if you want to restart the Jenkins also, it's very easy. You can restart from here like this. Okay, so when you pass this command, it will automatically your Jenkins will restart now. I'm just restarting my Jenkins now. I, I just copy the command from the Jenkins CLI, okay? So now the Jenkins will automatically restart. Sorry, again, I have to change my port number. So now what happens? Okay, so here also we are getting the permission things because, because we have uh, set up the authorization, right? So that's the reason it's it's giving us a permission one. So what we have to do, we have to pass the authorization. So how do we pass hyphen A-U-T-H-R and I have to copy my username password. So this is my username password. I will copy this one and I will come here. Okay, so when I do this now, it will automatically restart. See, my Jenkins is restart now. I mean, so if I if I go to any pages here, I cannot, I mean, I have to log in again. See, your Jenkins is restarting. I'm not able to access my Jenkins, right? So this is an effective way, like uh, you can use your Jenkins through that. I mean, you can control your Jenkins through CLI option, right? So that's all about, uh, using the Jenkins CLI option. So if you guys have any comment, please uh, leave in the comment section or any doubts also fine. Okay. Thank you guys.